And new tonight, a Salem salon plans on defying the governor's coronavirus orders by reopening for business. I'm risking going to jail to do it. That's how important it is to my family. So I'm going to walk you guys through the timeline of what the government has tried to do to me in the last 10 days. OSHA came into my salon and informed me that they would return the next day. If I didn't comply and shut my doors, they would then issue me a $70,000 citation. And if you can possibly believe this, Child Protective Services showed up at my home. Two government agencies now weaponized to go against a stylist simply because she wants to work. She decided to open up her business despite the orders to shut down. I had a right to feed my children, I had a right to feed my family, and I had a right to work. She was one of the first business owners to take a stand. Salon owner is suing Governor Kate Brown for what she says is a violation of her civil rights. Everyone's job is essential. Not because of what we do or how we do it, but because it's the way we make our living. You say that our, you know, our government doesn't have the right to take away our ability to earn a living. Having Kate Brown personally sick her agencies on me and harass me and bully me, she's way out of her league and it's time that someone told her that. Lindsey Graham, you're not out of yours. Yes, I'm doing this for me and my family, but I am doing it for you now too. Lindsay, also, you've got the nickname now online as the Patriot Barbie. 